Okay, this is how to do a uh, unwrap UVW in 3ds Max and get it ready for import into the Unreal Engine 4. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is um, Unreal Engine is in centimeters, so I want to go into customize and check my units setup and make sure that we are in centimeters here. Normally it's on generic units and you have to check metric and then go to centimeters and then say OK. All right, I'm going just I'm just going to create like a simple table in here. It's really quick, it's really easy. So I'll just create a box. Notice that it says centimeters here. So I'm simply going to click and drag and uh, I'm going to get pretty close to like a 100 by 50 by 2 box, something like that. And um, let's see, then I'll just come back in here and do 50 by 100 by 2. And uh, I like to give my length and width segments uh, 3 each. Now you can't see them here, so I'm going to press my F4 key, F4. And that allows me now to be able to see my segments. And uh, let's go into the top viewport here. But I'll, uh, that was Alt-W to, uh, to get to the top. Um, to get to maximize my viewport. viewport. Something's going on over here on the right hand side. My uh, video card's doing some graphic anomalies, but we'll get through it. I'm going to go into uh, uh, my uh, modifier. And let's see, so since I've got three on there, let's go into an edit poly. And uh, I will go into vertex mode, and I'm just going to click and drag over those vertices. And then I will scale them. Uh, outward a little bit, kind of right there, and then I'm going to click and drag over these center vertices. I'm going to scale them this way, and I'm just looking for some corners here so that I can make, uh, so I can, you know, uh, extrude out some pieces there. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going into my polygon mode. I'm going to click on the four corners, holding the control key to add to selection, and let's extrude this out um, you know, like 30. I think uh, that might be a good height, or uh, actually let's do 40. So we'll come down here to extrude, click on extrude settings, so I can type in the number. So I'm just going to simply type in uh, 40 and press enter. There they are. Looks good, those table legs. And then to end it, I'll click the green check mark. Click. Now if you'll notice, the uh, my table, first of all, it's not centered to my grid, and also it's sitting below the grid here. Let's fix both of those. So I need to turn off my polygon sub-object. And uh, if we click on the selected move and then right click on it, it brings up my move transform type in. And first of all, let's get it set to 000, zero over here. If you just right click on a spinner, right click, right click, then it sends whatever the spinner is to the lowest number, in this case it's zero. So that looks good. Now I know that I extruded, you'll see if I zoom in here, that it's sitting, this is a two inch tall table and it's 30 inch, or 40 inches down. If, if I were to bring this into Unreal right now, then uh, the legs would be below the surface. Well I'd like them at the surface. So let's just simply bring it up on the Z axis here, that's our up axis. So on the Z axis, I'm going to go up 40, 40, enter. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's okay to have objects with the pivot point at the center. Now, the way Unreal does pivot points is um, when you export it, wherever 000 is, in this case right here, that's going to be the new pivot point of your object. Sometimes, though, it's actually good to have your pivot point um, in a corner. And so, for instance, like right here, I could have the pivot point right there be in the corner. Whoops. You see that I didn't get it quite on, so I can just type in this information here. 50 and then 25 and uh, then 40 for the height. And that gets me right on. So my pivot point is going to be right on a corner. And not only that, but, um, uh, not only that, but uh, now it'll snap to the grid and everything will look really good in there. So I'm okay with that. I can close my transform type in. I don't really need that anymore. And again, I got there by right clicking on my selected move tool. And um, before I export this, let's go ahead and get a, um, a UV, an unwrap UVW on this. And so just a really quick one. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I need to go into my modifier list, scroll down to unwrap UVW. 
There it is. And um, let's go ahead and get into this. So I would like to do it to all of them. If you select them and they all don't show up, it's because you have your, whoops, not that one. I'm still trying to, it's right here. I'm still trying to get used to the uh, 2017 icons. Ignore back facing is on, so turn that off. And then click and drag over them and you'll get all your faces on there. You will not ignore the back facing any longer. Now look at this UVW right here this UVW plane, that is not at all what is going to work here. So let's do this. Let me pull this over so you all can see it. Let's open the UV editor over here. This is currently my table, the UVs of my table. I'm going to expand those a little bit so you can see them. They're all overlapping each other and that's not at all what I want. So I'm going up here and go to mapping and then flatten mapping. And then uh, I'm just going to use all the defaults here and we'll say OK. All right, what that did is based on box coordinates is it separated all my UVs here. So for instance, the top of my table, if I were to select it and then hold control and click, click, click and get all these little pieces right there, now you can see my table right here. Now I'm just going to separate these pieces. See how it broke off there? This is the top of my table. And you know what? I'll bet the top bottom of my table could probably be the exact same thing. In this situation, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to use the top and the bottom as the exact same. And look, I'd like to include these, but look where they are. They're like way over here. They're not even in the corners, so let's not include those this time. I'm just trying to do this really quick. Now this table, I do want to take this and uh, I'm just going to put them right on top of each other here. There we go. That way they'll be the exact same texture on both of those. All right, I kind of like that. Um, and you know what? I don't really have a texture on here yet, but that's uh, we'll get to that in a moment. So anyway, so I've done those. Let's also get the uh, the sides. And I have the sides there, which are over here. Look at that, they're, they're attached to something right there. They're attached to these legs. So that's okay, we can use those. Let's see if that's all they're attached to. That's it, let's pull these off to the side. Let's go get the other side. So quick and easy, I'm just gonna grab those. And uh, they're probably not attached to anything either. In fact, let's just, once again, let's put those right on top of the other. If you're having trouble, zoom in a little bit. Just move it move it to fit. There we go. That looks good. Let's get the other side. So I'll select here, holding control there and there. Just remember that in 3ds Max, holding control adds to selection. And let's grab here, which uh, is kind of confusing because in Photoshop, add to selection is the shift key. And uh, let's see, let's put these right on top of each other. And we're not going to do any kind of ambient occlusion on this, so we don't have to worry about being on top of each other. And uh, that looks good, but we've still got a few more things here. We've got these little pieces right there. Let's just throw those off to the side for a moment. And we have legs. So uh, I could probably just select all the legs like this. I've got one leg out of order. Let's put it back in order. So let's grab it and just throw it in here. And uh, I'm just going to throw it really close to, to right there. So everything else looks good. You can see they're not overlapping. They're just very close to one another. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get a texture on this thing and, uh, and see how we're doing. All right, because, again, I'm trying to get through this very fairly quickly. All right, so um, I'm going to save this. But before I do, I'd like to... Um, you know what, I'm okay with this right now, and I'm not going to lose it just by closing this. Close. It's still on there, and so uh, now let's go ahead and throw a material on here. So I'll go into my material editor, and I like the um, compact mode here. You can do either one, whatever you're familiar with. I like the compact mode, so uh, that's the one I'll use. And uh, let's throw this on there, on my object, my table. Let's go into the diffuse map, click diffuse, and uh, let's get a bitmap, so I'm going to double click bitmap, 
And I've got to go find one. I know that I have one in my downloads. So I'll just go into downloads. And uh, I'm just going to use this one right here, my textures. I got this off CG Textures. It was a free texture. So that's in there, and it's on the table. You can't see it because I don't have my Show Shaded Material and Viewport button on. So click that. And now the wood texture shows up on there. This isn't too bad. Um, but I would like the grain to be going the other way, longwise. So uh, now that I see this, let's go ahead and close this for a moment. And let's open up our Unwrap UVW again. So we're going to open the UV Editor. Back up. Now I need to see that um, material in here. So let's go up here and let's do the, uh, not the texture checker, pick texture. And uh, let's pick it from, scroll down, well, there it is right there, this wood find. So we're going to grab this one right here. That's the one that we just put in there. We'll say OK. We're getting it from scene materials right here. I don't want to go ahead and add a new one. I've already got one in there. And so let's get this one that we added in there from scene materials. So double click, adds it in here. Now let's go ahead and make some changes to this. The reason it's actually showing on there is because even if you're outside of this box, it just continues to repeat. But let's take this, let's drag it over here. You can see how my uh, how the texture here is uh, is moving as I move this around. I'm going to rotate this, so I need to go up, use my rotate tool, grab a corner, rotate it, 90 degrees, something like that. Not sure why that doesn't go exact, but I'm okay with that. And then uh, let's also move it uh, into here, get it nice and close. And now the grain is going the correct way. Let's also have the grain going the correct way for this. So let's take these and also move these over. So let's rotate them. You can also, if you use freeform mode, click on that. You can also rotate uh, freeform mode that way as well. Whoops. Let's, uh, where's, there it is. Grab it and rotate it 90, or pretty close to 90 degrees. And then just, uh, and then just move it. So I'm going to move this here in the corner. And uh, for now, because I've still got a couple pieces to do. So I'm going to get these pieces. And uh, let's just move those. Tell you what, I'm going to move these down here. And let's see, let's also just grab those, because we can move those down a little bit. Oops. Let's move those down just a little bit. I'm not going to overlap anything if I can help it. There we go. And uh, let's grab these four little pieces. Let's throw those down here, and let's grab this. Let's use that freeform mode. Grab a corner, and let's scale this puppy out quite a bit right there. And if you'd like to get, notice what I'm doing is I'm getting better grain quality in here. So I like that. Let's do the same thing for this. Let's stretch these out a bit. That gets me more grain, and uh, I kind of like that. So. That looks really good. All right, so that's basically UV mapping. I'm done with this, and uh, I'm good here. So I'm just going to, I don't have to do anything else here. So, um, And I didn't go and make a special texture. I'm just using a piece of wood. So I'll make another video sometime for how to um, render your UV template. Actually, you could do this. You render it out. Um, I just use 1024 by 1024. Hit the render UV template. And it actually makes a template of your of your model, and then you can take this into Photoshop and uh, and put textures all over it. Well, I'm just using a simple wood texture, so I didn't have to do all that. So, all right, so I can close this. That looks really good. I'm pretty happy with that. So um, looks like a regular table. Let's take it and bring it into the Unreal Engine. So, next thing. I'm going to export it. I guess I better save first. I haven't saved really. So save as. And uh, I'm going to save on my I have a special drive just for this. My Fender drive. Let's go into. Uh, let's go into. I don't even know where I'm saving this. Um, all right, let's create a new folder. How about we'll just call it 3D models. There you go. 
and uh, I'm just going to call it um, table 01. Something simple. Save. All right. So anyway, so now that I've done this, let's take this and um, let's take this and export it. File export. Now sometimes if you have a lot of objects in here, people get click happy and they just click export. We have export options here, so I would like to export selected. It's just a good habit to get into. Export selected. And then uh, remember where you're going to export it. I'm just going to export it back in that folder I just created on my Fender D drive in my 3D models. And uh, notice it's automatically in Autodesk FBX. I'm okay with that. I'm just going to call this table underscore 01 and save. And it happens really fast. Now before I do this, there are two options I like to change. First of all, geometry. I always click on smoothing groups. Unreal in the past gives me some type of a warning. I'm just tired of looking at it, so I click on smoothing groups. The other thing is advanced options for units. Make sure that it is not automatically inches. I would like to make it centimeters because we're going into Unreal, so centimeters. All right, that looks good. So all I did was two things here, smoothing groups and centimeters. I say OK, and it was that quick. It's done. So let's go take a look at it and um, that's exporting it so uh, I'll make another video for importing uh, so that was uh, unwrap UVW creating the table unwrapping it and exporting it so uh, hope you learned that and stay tuned for the next one